Hello everyone and welcome to the Bear Gamer channel. In today's video we will be doing the last of the piece of cake challenges, the very Phantom Menace. So let's get going. I can almost not believe we're at the last one of the three easy challenges and then next we're going to be doing well definitely more harder ones. The peasants think their so-called army is a threat. It's up to you to convince them. They are gravely mistaken. Oh, let's do some convincing, shall we? And pause. Okay, so we have a lot of resources, as is evident, but I would rather have we have more and be capable of doing more. But first, let's get a few watchtowers up. I'm going to actually be able to see my a decent line of sight. Let's just get a couple of things sorted. If we can see where we're going, we can plan ahead. Hmm, those looks good. Oh, no, wait, here's... Let's put another one right next to the river. Sounds good, okay. Now that we have all of those things sorted, we need to get builders' houses. I think builders' houses are actually quite important in this challenge in particular. Lots of builders. You would be surprised how much builders I think you would need for this. Because I basically want to be able to insta build anything that I want. If you can instantly build anything, you are unstoppable. But we still need more houses because I I don't think there's nearly enough people. I was gonna need some more food. I made a small mistake there. But yeah, we're also gonna need more food. There we go, there's another row of houses. It should be a further about 172. Or it should end up as 172 cap. And we can work from there. We already have four trebuchets, so that's something. It's a good start, it's a good start. Good start to all of this. Oh yeah, ah, research. Damn, very important. Actually, no, I want to get the builders up and running first, like way first. Actually, let's get the builders before even the watchtowers, because more builders means these things go up much faster. Alright, now that we have all of the two builders that I have, because there's only two available in the start, they can have start building more builders' houses. More builders' houses means things are getting get done. We just have to start thinking about resources. We at least have a couple of uh, forests nearby, so it should be fine. I mean, storage is still full in a lot of these places. Alright, that's one builder's house. That increases it to six builders. Woo! Those tier 3 builders houses do work, <laughs> they definitely do a lot of work. And so will the builders. Building, do -do -do -do. let's get all of these things up and running. First thing, it's going to have like a exponential growth. The more there is, the quicker it's going to go up. I mean, we already have one house up and two Research being built complete. simultaneously, and as these guys are going to start flowing in, going to be almost instantaneous at a certain point. Thankfully I heard that reaches complete. I sometimes, I actually a lot of the time miss this. Um, I completely miss it when it says research complete because you know it says it and you're busy doing something and you just completely forget. You're like ah I need to go get it but nope you just forget. Okay, these houses are going really quickly. Let's speed it up a little bit. Uh, yeah, even starting to build normal houses now. Awesome. New day dawns and we have a lot of builders. So much so that I even completed the watchtower. I did not even notice that. Oh wow. All these watchtowers are just all of a sudden popping up. Damn. I don't believe, but I want two more builders' houses. Okay. 
two more builders' houses just to complete this set over here. Because that looks weird to me. It, it really looks weird. I want to just round it Research up nicely. Complete. Okay, let's see if we can get a few more houses here and here. There we go, four more. I think that's good. Oh no! <laughs> My expectation of how much that would have increased was slightly off, because we only had 100 and something. Hey, 190, 206. Oh, beautiful. Now that they're standing there and doing nothing, let's get going with resources. First things first, let's build a couple of wood gatherers huts. Ah, people. People are going to be the downfall of me in this game. Let's get those going, and they are up. Oh, almost. There we go, they're up. Now for them to... All the builders to walk away. Okay. <laughs> While we're here, let's have a quick look around. Ooh. We have a couple of natural barriers, but I have no idea to which extent. Alright, one of the buildings that I'm definitely going to build, and now, because I can't really do anything else, is a barracks. Definitely important. If we can get the barracks up and going before we... See? Like, have to do anything else. I can definitely see where... These resources would go, or I just where we build things. Right, I'm gonna build three here. Iron mine. There's one over here, which is nice, and one back here. And now I can't build it because I need more people. See? Uh, yeah. All right. I have five people, so it's gonna be nice. Because there's no encampments in this map. No, there's none. No encampments in this map. Yeah, there's no encampment. Let's just get this built so we can start scouting. So many people walking around, holy hell. Oh, they're working here already, nice. Mm, yeah, just five swordsmen. And that's all of them built. First things first, scout ahead, lads. In general, I would suggest we try to maybe build a farm. Actually, I'm starting to think that maybe I should build a farm really soon. But yeah, when we'll get more people, we'll jump on that immediately. Alright. Alright, new day, more people, let's go. Thankfully, I thought about that right now. Oh, damn, okay. So we're going to have the farm over here, and let's build it out like this. I have two farms, I'm going to build them both out sideways, because I think that's, I think that's actually pretty nice. Haha! -ha. Let's go, we're going to probably need more people along the way very soon. Oh, this is a big funnel, this is a big funnel, I actually kind of hope they'll be coming through here. Because that means I will have all the time in the world just to hit them from afar. And see, see what I mean? I forget about the upgrades, the research. But yeah, now we're back on the research train. I need to get these guys upgraded. Okay, so they're not going to come through there. Here's the gap. Let's see what's over there. Actually, just, just because that's bothering me now. Okay, there we go. Alright, we have still a lot of people. Let's get more resources up and running. Because more resources mean we can build faster. Building faster is part of the reason why we're doing this. Again, now we run out of people. Good. Means we're growing. Means we're getting more things done. But we're also taking into account resources. Because... Look at that, how much resources we already have gone, just by pure fact Research that complete. we're just doing things. Alright, let's see here, increase the speed, yes please. Moving. Lord, Lord. 
Alright, here we have. You can see this entire edge. Let's go. Yeah, we're already struggling with food, which is not good. I can't really say there's enough space for more stuff. I think we're gonna have to. I'm gonna do fisheries. A whole bunch of fisheries. Just so that I can get more stuff done. And also, more granaries. Granary is a good idea. No matter what you do, granary is a great idea. There we go. More granaries means more food. More food means we can do more things, more people, oh, and yada yada. We all know the whole deal. Alright. Okay. Moving. Lord Lord. Okay, keep scouting. Let's go. That side. We have quite a couple of funnels. Research say. complete. Moving. Bottlenecks. Ah, because that's the thing's name. Bottlenecks. We have quite a few of those. Let's see what's this. Yeah, I'm gonna increase the speed of the guys moving around. Because right now my builders aren't doing much. I think they have to be doing more. Wait. They have to be doing more because I want them to do more. Hold up. I think I can put another third one. Yeah, I can put another third one. Haha. -ha. And also, maybe a tavern. <laughs> A tavern, I think, is kind of more essential in this case. Mainly <laughs> because that's a lot of food and it will definitely help. And we have enough food mm -hmm. to make it to the next day. And just in time to. Alright, All right, so here's the next funnel. Lord, Lord. Alright, next funnel found. All right. Here's the other one. And I think we have almost all the maps scouted, just this one corner left. Let's see where they're going. We're good. Research complete. There we go, more research has been completed. Awesome. And get that last one. Right, now we have a good idea of what the map looks like and what we're gonna be dealing with. Lord Lord. Shouldn't be too difficult actually. All right. This is gonna be interesting. I can completely block them off here. Lord Lord. And I can block them off here too. This is gonna be like basically a whole series of funnels and keeping them at bay. Well, I mean that's the entire premise of this whole thing. Um, no, not food. I wanted to gather more resources. Stone mine here. Iron mine here. And another one here. And then I'm going to put a nice little resource gathering point over there. Nice and quick for them too. And I'm going to also put in more wood choppers. Wood chopper. Well, let's get that out. Anyway. There we go, we have more woodcutters or lumber mills. Yeah, these guys are looking hard. I'll maybe expand the whole idea a little bit. Wizard, the food's definitely gonna be a problem. Damn. Even with all of that food. Research complete. Alright, now let's speed up. Actually, let's get that up and running, because then I can increase the fortifications. Let's go. I wonder if there's a place. Well, here, technically speaking, would be the easiest if I want to put in another farm. Let's see if I can. Let's see if it's possible. Ah, it's possible. I can put down another farm. I think I can put down even two. Yes, I can put down two even, if I want to. Yeah, I'm going to put down two. There we go, and then I can put another granary right about here. And why not? More houses. And I know, 
That seems actually ridiculous. And it is. But we need more people. We need more people for the grind. Let's do this. The fact that this is building so quickly is wonderful to me. Because this just means instantaneous things are getting done. This thing is getting done this quickly. You might actually stand a chance to build defenses rather fast. And we are gathering a lot of iron, a lot of wood. Hmm. You love to see it. Okay. Let's get these defenses up. And I think it's kind of essential to just start at least with the defenses right now. There we go, we have that one down. And now for this one. There we go. That one's going to be a little bit more complicated as it's like going in and out. This one, however, ooh, I think I want to double layer this. I'm going to double layer this one. Have like a small bit of a buffer for in case. And then another one going this way. Perfect. So if they come from here, we're covered. If they come from here, we're covered. And we have a nice little block in there. If they come from here, we're pretty covered. Ooh. I want to up the ante over that side. And this side too. Maybe not. Hold on. There we go. I think we can have another buffering, uh, buffering, buffering layer. Because I think it's quite essential that we have multiple layers of defense in this. This is going to be the big one. Because that's going to be the painful one. Let's put one there. And uh, one over there, shall we? Oh, hmm. Yeah, let's go it like that. Then we have over here. Because we're going to make like an indent in this one, not a expulsion. Or like a, yeah. Concave, not convex. So we can go in here. And then, ooh. Maybe I have to, yeah. I'm going to have to do it like this then as well. Yeah, we're doing it like that because I am terrified it might actually just not work at all. Sitting over there, are we doing another? Oh, just like pull it through all the way. Just pull it through all the way, and just because. So auto repair for in case, and we're going to increase that. And we're going to take all these houses and we're going to increase their ranges as well. There we go. Maximum work distance achieved. Excellent. All right, let's see here. Stone wall. It's because I want to be able of navigating it a little bit easier. There we go. And we're going to put another layer over there. I'm trying to basically catch wherever they can come from. Like way early. I think we have actually most of this covered. Because as they come from there, I prefer catch them here as well again if they do because I want at least two walls between whomever tries just because you know, well not because two walls is a great amount of defense and it will probably work the best and then we have the stone gates of this level okay we want them to be capable of going through here going through on this side not even enough space for a little tower over there. Ooh, ooh. I wonder if I'll be able to build a tower there, but I'm not sure. 
Let's see. Oh, here's the whole easier story. And so is here. And over here. There we go. Simple over there. And simple over there. Good. Maybe I'm going to put a tower over there. Ooh. Actually, I don't have to because, I mean, not over there at least. Oh, I might have to, actually. Because they stream in here. Oh, I, don't, I can't even build anymore. So, okay. Let's go. Let's let the resources flow once again. You want to believe it, but I actually want more houses. Um... More houses? Actually, I can't even build that yet. Okay. What do we need? Houses. How much do we need? Yes. We need all the houses, all the people, everyone. Everyone needs a place and a spot. No one left behind in the houses. Okay, let's see. Over there. Over there. Over here, and over here. Good, and maybe another one over here. Excellent. We won't move in between these things, so yeah, gonna have to put people in between. I don't know, I think actually one day I read, this is a weird one, in Age of Empires that the AI always specifically targeted gates. I don't remember from where I heard this. But there was like complete. gates exemplify a weak point in your what the hell am I A weak point in how the things work. I always found that very, very interesting is like oh I like you always go for the gate automatically. But I don't actually think in reality that's the case. I actually sometimes wonder if reality that's the case because I mean, a wall is particularly thin and a gate, yeah, well, actually, let me know in the comments down below. Am I correct in thinking that the Age of Empires AI specifically focused on walls or on like attacking specific points? Yeah, let me know in the comments down below because I'm kind of curious. All right, let's get more gates up. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of gates. Damn, I don't know if I have enough time to actually build all these things. Well, we'll assume we have enough time and hope we do. Yes, assuming and then hoping is two very different things, I know. But it's still very, very true. Either way, we got it, so. Okay, looks like we have all the gates. Now I want to put in towers. Oof. This is going to be an interesting one. Because we have massive guard towers where we put the trebuchets. But I also want them for... You know, a couple of ballistas too. Ballistas, archers, all that. For that I'm going to need an engineering guild. I place that down there. And yes, I think I'm gonna add more houses. And now I don't have enough resources for those houses. Okay. Gonna have to give them some time to build up some resources again. I'm just impressed, like, we're keeping up with the food, which is awesome, because that can come back and bite us if we're not careful. Oh, you guys are like instabilizing these walls. Damn. Look at them go. Research complete. Sheesh. Okay, now the fortifications are now powerful. Am I mean powerful? I mean powerful. This is awesome. So let's increase the movement speed here for a bit. And I'm going to up the importance of that building just by a little bit. So I can build it and it's finished. And then I can also. Like increase the trebuchet stuff with research.
All right. Research complete. And that's done. Research complete too. Oh, perfect timing. Because here we can get more hit area and faster training. And also more attack speed from the ballista, which I think is a good thing. All right, let's first see here how many massive towers we can build. Because I'm thinking, why can't I build one here? Oh, oh, <laughs> I was being a bit slow there. Okay, one, two. Three. Oof. Four. There we go. Five. Six. And now I need to slow down. Okay, so six, so we need two more. These walls are coming up really nicely. I'm just wondering if I might if I have enough days, which I hope I do. I really hope I do. I mean, they're building these walls so damn fast. I might actually. Ooh, gold. Oh, I'm gonna need more trebuchets still, and gold. Okay, this is a excellent opportunity for trading, because I definitely still need more gold. No matter what, anything, I need more gold. So, come on lads, build that thing. I need more gold. Because we need more trebuchets. Ah, it's built, thanks. Yeah, I don't think food, but stone definitely. 200. That's what 400 does. And go. 20. I think 20 gold coins would be enough. How much is it? Two. Yeah, definitely. Alright, let's see how much more we can build. That's one extra we have to account for. Research complete. Two. Ooh. Okay. Three. Alright, so three more. We have to account for three more trebuchets. That research was nicely completed, so I'm gonna increase the ballista's ability first. Let's see where they're gonna come from. Oh, definitely from this side. So, hmm. I think from here. So they're gonna be streaming in here. Good thing we increased these things' capability because now they're tough. But we're still going to need a lot of extra stuff here though, so let's get buildings, shall we? Over there. Ooh. Over there. And over there, why not? There we go. And maybe. Good. Good, good, good. Let's get these things quite powerfully built up. Yes, I'm building these things to a ridiculous spec, I think. But I don't want to lose, so, you know. Not wanting to lose is part of the fun, I guess. Actually, not wanting to lose. Wanting to win is part of the fun. You want to win. We're winners here. Well, at least we try to be. Oh, awesome. These towers are going up all at once. That's great. And the fish, we have we have fished all the fish away. The fish have been outfished. And awesome. Trebuchet. Go have fun over there. And you're right next to it, so climb on in. You're over there, so I'm gonna bump you in here. While I'm here, let's see if I can maybe up the ballistas. Oh, has a lot of ballistas. Let's see how much archers. Not enough wood. Not enough wood, my lord. That's a lot of blisters. Holy hell. Alright, so you're in over there. You're in over there. You're in over here. 
You're in over there. And you are in over there. I see who's left. You. Okay. So you're going there. And then you are going this way. Awesome. Now we have a at least the first layer of what I would say is decent defense. Ooh. Yeah, those guys are gonna hit hard. So are they. So are they. Oh no. I should immediately start getting these bigger things up. Jab it. We'll need wood soon. Actually, that's a good idea. I need... I have this. I want wood. Bring me wood. That's not a lot, but at least something. They'll be back long before. Okay. Increase the radius, lads. Increase that radius. Not generally something I would advise doing, but... Still, it's useful. Only three. Okay, let's Research see. Complete. Now we have four. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is... Let's get those crossbowmen up and ready. Let's see the wood. Okay. I can have another one over here. They're probably going to crash against these walls as well. But if they crash against those ones, I wouldn't actually need to worry too much. Oh, these ones are going to definitely, definitely get hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Where is that corner so long? And where is a ballista missing? Or a trebuchet? Over there? I feel like there's more. Where's another trebuchet missing? Where's the other trebuchet? Do I have to build another trebuchet? I think I have to build one more. Uh oh. Let's see. With the amount of delaying tactics and layers we've built, it should be fine. And we've built this armor to last, so... We still have some time before things go sideways. Let's be serious. But I'm gonna slow it down a little bit, just for me. Okay. Now, let's see where all these guys are going. Those have, like... A whole bunch of trebuchets, and we have like more of these archers. Let's get as much as we can, possibly. Okay, mainly I need more people, so obviously. Let's see. All of you guys are here now. Why don't you guys go uh, climb in over there? I think I have just enough for this little corner. Alright, climb in. And there's three more, so we'll climb in over there. Three ballistas there. And the ballistas. Attack point. High value targets, please. Let's see how much ballistas there's three. The enemy are preparing Is there another their one final going? Assault. No. We have one wave. That's the final wave already, so... Yeah, no, that's always fun. Okay, I'm gonna close the gates. Because this is gonna get ridiculous really quickly. Okay, so... We have them coming from this side. So close and close. I'm not too bothered about that one. There's no one coming through here. Over here close. 
that one's already closed. If they ever come through here, I'm gonna close this one off in case. I'm gonna have to close that. I'm going to have to close that. Um, nothing happened here. So yeah, we should be in the clear as far as a lot of these attacks are all kind of concerned. At least for a bit. Let's see. Three of you. Get up there. And I need you guys to attack on a high value top. Yes. There we go. Trebuchet has already started firing and... Oh, before I forget, before I forget, before I forget. Get all the trebuchets to focus on high value targets first. Because if they don't, we're going to be in trouble. Right. High value targets. Because if we all have... If it's set to high value targets, then we are all in the clear. No. Yes, every... Larger pieces of siege equipment always should focus on high value targets first and then anyone else. High value targets are much more important. Especially in stopping them. We need to stop them. Yeah, of course they would be. And we're out of fish. Our ways of fortifications under attack. Well, we knew that was going to happen. So, well, we have some time. We have a decent amount of time, I would say. Alright, and how much Our archers do we have? Not attack. a lot. So I would say, yeah, uh, archers go and climb the walls. Man, I should also build one of these. Oh, a new coin. Shit. Let's see, sell. What can I sell? How about a stone? Just for a couple of coins, come on. Six coins, sounds good. They are attacking again. Anyway. Wow, there I got there really quickly. Oh shit. Um Well I did close that gate thankfully, but they didn't finish that. Oh man. Shouldn't have known, but Well the gate's closed, I don't think I can go around properly. So, yeah, this is going to be one of those cases Our where it's like, are under attack. Hey. going to have to start getting onto that wall very quickly, very early. Actually, now that I think about it, build one here, prioritize it. Because I'm going to crash against that. Which we're really going to get in here. Oof. Actually, a good idea would be the following. And then maybe a big tower over there. With them focusing on these two things. Our there we go. Our fortifications are under attack. There we go. How's this one holding up? So it should be fine. Let's just get that gold coins. They are attacking again. Yes, I know they're attacking. Ooh, this is going to be a long, like drawn-out conflict or fight. Yeah. But that definitely helps. They are attacking the. If I can get these things, these two yeah. things built first, that will help a lot. Here they come. Research complete. A lot more trebuchets. Have more archers. They are attacking the walls. Yeah. Oh my! I forgot. I need to maybe. I'm gonna put some of you over here. And they are any other archers? Again. Yeah, any more archers? Um, just go pilot on the wall, please. Our fortifications are under attack. This works. It's sort of working, sort of working. Yeah. Just 
work a little bit longer for me. I'm just gonna hold them off a little bit with this tactic. We can finish building these. We can finish building those, then we'll actually have quite the like solid base to take them on. Alright, you go over there. They are attacking again. Alright, let's see. Alright, like stop trying to rebuild things and just build. Finish what you are trying to build already. Just plug the hole a little bit and that's done. Awesome. That will be our lifesaver. Oh damn, hold on. I forgot about the damn gate. Oh. Damn gate can be like, a little bit later. Yeah. I don't know. I just hold the line, hold the line, hold the line. Okay, hold on. Moving. Okay, just climb on that wall. Oof. Oof. Okay, all three of you. Up on that wall. Because that's going to collapse soon. And you lot are still good. Okay, so this is... Basically, we're just going to try to stem most of the tide as much as possible. Oof, I built so damn compact. They are attacking the walls. Yeah, you climb in on there, actually. No. Oh, I love this. How it just looks. It looks amazing. I love it. Climb on there. High target. High value targets, they please. Attacking again. What's being built? Okay, you too. High value target. Get in there. Get on that one. All right. Our fortifications Let's get some more of these guys up here. Yeah. Where did people die? Oh, oops. Yeah, they're trying to build that. Sorry, guys. They are attacking again. But so far, it's holding pretty okay. This is on the verge of collapsing. That's not good. So is this. Damn. Close. Our fortifications are under attack. Should actually have. No, that's actually going pretty okay. We're delaying them. That's what we want to do. We want to delay as much as possible. Much as humanly possible. Oh, right now. Our fortifications are under attack. Let's see. Let's see. Can go on there. Then use the trebuchets, it's not too far from now. We're running out of people, we're running out of people, damn. Yeah. Okay, we're, we are yeah. winning, in a way, we are actually winning. Well, I feel like we're winning, don't worry. Our fortifications are under attack. Because yeah. eventually they'll run out of people that can actually destroy buildings. Okay, this I actually feel like we should maybe fall backwards. Actually, no. If we move out of that one and into that one, we will be pretty good. And fall back to that cape. Our fortifications are under attack. Our this is are under you. attack. No, why'd you go there? Go in there. There we go. Are attacking again. Going much better there. Because they breached the first layer, but I feel confident we can survive. Blisters, blisters, blisters. Put more there. Oh, I made a small oversight there. Close that gate, please. Okay, that looks good. Might want to go on that gate. 
They are attacking the walls. Now that I think about it, what I actually want is one of these. It's eighth. Put that first. They are attacking again. I'm going to use some magic powers to just slightly thin them out a little. Very reliant on my people here. But this is, as far as not going too bad, considering. Our fortifications are under attack. Yes, fortifications are under attack, and this is not going too bad. On this side, it's almost completely destroyed. I think also on this side, mostly, yes, yeah. It has worked. My defenses are working. It's just these two sides are streaming with people. But don't worry. We'll get them. We'll get them. Let's see, how many people do I have here from the crossbooks? Yes! Pile on that wall. Yes, pile on the wall. Pile on the wall. Uh, ballista. Damn, I don't have a tower for them over there. Hmm. You know what? A trebuchet. Actually, no. Just go. Go, go, go that way. Our fortifications are under attack. Like, just start piling on the wall. Pile on the wall. We need to up our damage input. They're sort of attacking there, but that's not the problem. Is This is the problem. These guys are the problem. Our fortifications are under attack. They are oh, there you are. Citizens. Just in time, too. Almost built a trebuchet instead. There we go. Our fortifications are under attack. This side is almost completely. They almost have them. They almost have them. Good. Good, good, good. I just has so many people. It's kind of also why I want the meteor, just so that I can strike them and thin it out a little bit, especially here, because it just seems like a bit too much for this corner. Oh, oh hey, it's right there. Let's go. Let's start piling into this wall. Easy. This gate, please. Let's start piling in, shall we? Come on, come on, come on. They are attacking again. We're doing great. I think these ballistas also, they are hurting these guys. Especially the bigger guys like these guys. They are attacking the Hulk. Again. So many of them, they're piled up all high. Like these things are massive. Things he's trying to destroy, but they are just hammering away. They really want to destroy me. Damn. Like these four ballistas. Alright. We have. We'll take two of them. And we'll fill up that last spot. Alright, we'll fill up that last spot. Let's see what we can do. Well, I think this is almost finished. Let's reason that last bit. Our fortifications are under attack. If you close your eyes and you don't look at all the other things, it looks like I'm doing amazing. The trebuchets are helping a lot. These things are like... Like that. They are just they nailing are these guys. The nailing the groups. And they were perfect dealing with the more heavier siege weaponry. I think that's also why these walls are lasting as long as they are. They don't... They don't have the capability of using proper they siege weaponry. Oh, I seriously need to deal with all these guys. Damn, that's a lot. Um, let's see if you left. Oh, there's a wall. Jump on. Oh, there we are. That gate is not long for this world anymore. Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay, you two. If those two guys cross it, I am immediately... Here we go. Get in. Get in, get in, get in. Our fortifications are under attack. Actually, I have an idea. No, wait, hold on. I can do this now. There we go, just thin them out a little bit. Makes everyone out just a little bit more easier. There we go. That will also open me up to do this. 
climb on this gate and this wall and you should actually have some interesting results because of that. Don't have enough. But these guys are almost completely gone now. So it doesn't matter. We're almost there. These trebuchets are still firing heavily. Oh no. Get on that wall. That's what it is. It. You guys fall back a little bit. Summon. Blood the bull. There we go. Our troops are under attack. Greatly thinned it out, which is good. Oof. Oof. Alright, I'm gonna need a couple of someone who can actually help deal with this. Or just grab a couple of ballistas. Let's go. Let's see what these ballistas can do. Oh, these guys have done. These guys are done. These guys are done. Awesome. And we have you guys too. And you guys. So, you know. Let's grab all of you, literally all of you, and start nailing them from afar. Let's see, uh, we can thin it out a little bit, there we go. Awesome. Let's just start dealing with these guys, because now we have enough people to actually do this properly. Uh, and I don't even think they have enough to really do much. No, they don't. Not with the trebuchets firing from every direction and all these archers still going at them. I don't think they have enough. They are attacking Not nearly, and these, oh, these ballistas that are here are also hitting pretty hard. Because the nice thing about the ballistas is they do actually go through targets. If you like read the description, it's, it hits up to three targets standing one behind the other. Especially for a row like this, it's perfect. Yeah, Trebuchet's did a lot of heavy, lift, heavy lifting, but now picking off the smaller ones. That's the archers. And now we can actually pull them a lot closer. We can light up against the wall. These turbuses are still doing a lot of work. There we go. I think that's the last of them. Is this victory? This looks like victory. Let's go, let's go. Almost there. Last few, last few. Can I, is this already open? Yeah, it's already open. <laughs> They're struggling to fire behind. Hold on. Just get behind them. Just get behind them. Shoot them in their backs. And they're done for. There we go. And there you have it, the last challenge, the very Phantom Menace victory. Let's go. So, that's a lot of people. Especially if we're just using walls and not a lot of magic. But we still managed, we still managed. There we go. Yeah, thank you everyone for watching and uh, leave a like and remember to comment and subscribe if you enjoyed it. So yeah, until next time. Bye.